Hi guys! Welcome back to another episode of FTL. This time we are going to take a break because we did like uh, two boarding ships, so we're going to do one non-boarding ship. And uh, so there's type A and type B of, this is the NG Cruiser. So type A is a bit of a, you're supposed to, you're intended to use basically the actual like drones that attack. Uh, I don't know, not something I particularly liked so much. Uh, but we aren't doing this one today. Uh, the one we're doing today is type B. Type B sucks. <laughs> you guys are a bunch of assholes for, for suggesting this, so thanks a lot. Uh, so now you get to watch me suffer through this, thanks. So, uh, but you know what? I decided it just, it just wasn't enough to, to just do the NGB. So the, the idea of this one is you have uh, three board, you have three onboard drones. Like these are not ones you get uh, to launch at the other player, uh, sorry, at the enemy ship or anything. And you get some weapons to kill them with, but only one crew member. You also get a drone reactor booster, which increases the movement speed of the drones by 50%. And uh, no cameras, and that's pretty much it. That's all I can say about this ship. Uh, there's not much else that it does good. It doesn't do anything good. It's a slow-ass ship. But uh, to make this a better and more challenging run, it's going to be me. And only me. I'm going to space anybody who comes on my ship. Uh, and I'm just going to make this a solo run. It's literally just gonna be me. And so, uh, me and drones, that's that's it. So let's see how viable this is. This, this should be entertaining to watch. Uh, you guys asked for it, I, I swear. Okay, so I'm just gonna power one system repair drone. I know my med bay is powered. I don't see anything else I could put points and do so. It's gonna be a horrible run. I'm gonna say this now. Cool, I get two options against this. So this is defense satellite. Uh, repair crew can't approach it so I can get, I can, I can go. It's me, it's all me. This is a fucking solo show, guys. Uh, and I, I get them to repair it. I get some scrap and drone parts and stuff. This is gonna be a fun and interesting run. Oh, jeez. What have you guys made me do, honestly? Well, you guys didn't make me do anything. I'm gonna get some more drone parts. I might as well. Uh, so we do a little bit of an exchange. I want to go to that store, but I want to stop by and see if I can get make that my last stop, basically. Okay, well here we have our first ship of the day. Prepare to die. All right. So uh, we have a heavy laser and a high, and a heavy ion. So ions, as you may know or may not know, uh, they disable uh, shields. So I'll be able to disable one one layer of shields. And there goes my. Uh, here, I'm gonna go and luckily that I don't actually need oxygen and, and a strategy some people do on a employ on a ship like this is that they uh, they purposely Remove all the oxygen all over the ship. I won't be doing that because I think that's a bit overkill to be honest uh, it, it is something that you're more than welcome to do and I'm continuously getting set on fire Oh, um, maybe I should just finish off the ship. Does that sound like a good idea? Damn it Please, please don't, please don't fire. Oh, okay, luckily my heavy laser is on that slot, so I'm smart. All right, we get some more scrap out of that, so. Uh, and if you're wondering why I'm only powering one, it's because I'm planning on selling the other one as soon as I can. So oxygen, not, not very important on a ship like this. And yeah, this is a bit of a crazy challenge run, I'm not gonna lie, I don't, I don't really know what possessed me to do this. I guess it's just revenge for you guys picking the ship, so deal with it. Uh, I'm going to... I'm gonna be here and attack the pirate. And he locks weapons onto my ship. Okay. Usually I do, I just auto attack their shields. So, you know, ions are a good choice here. Except they don't charge very fast. I can't put anyone on on charging weapons faster. So, wow. Dude, me. Look like I can get one more shot off before those shields go back up. It's that, that heavy ion takes forever to charge up. Well, there goes our engines. We might as well go attack his weapons again. Uh, I'm debating it. Uh, I could be a missile boat later. Yeah, let's do it. it we, we may get it for trade, you never know. Well, we need our engines back up and so... Uh, actually, let's go to the store first uh, before I start buy investing into anything because there might be something interesting like crew members I can immediately buy in this space. And uh, they're, they're selling valuable equipment to go home. Okay, I'm going to get the automated reloader. 
I do want the scrap recovery arm though, but I can get rid of this first. I could also get rid of the uh, drone reactor. It's, this is a really tough choice, because do I want more scrap? Because it's really worth it, or do I wet fire my Let's go get the scrap, actually. Thinking purely economically, it's actually probably a better choice. I could probably get both. Yeah, let's get both. You know what? Fuck, fuck faster drones. No, we don't need that. I'm crazy. You probably know this already. And there's another store like right there. All right, well, we're gonna avoid that store because we don't have any scrap. We're gonna just go into the nebula here just so we get as much as we can. Uh, there's someone in here and it, uh, they fade away. It, it was heavily damaged though. And so we can try and follow them to help them. Oh shit, the rebel ship. And they have a drone here, so let's go and start attacking their shields. Luckily, I don't think they're going to be able to get through these shields, so I'm not too concerned about this. That, I am concerned, damn it. It's always when they hit my weapons, I'm pissed off. Luckily, this drone is actually pretty fast at repairing this stuff. Haha, -ha, my evasion is too high for you. It's 10%. Because the heavy, the heavy laser charge is slower. Alright, let's try this again. And it's gonna be, it's just gonna be like, it takes a while to, uh, to charge up this stuff, but, you know, what else can you do? I, I, I actually, one of the strategies I contemplated doing, and I actually tried this on my own, was bringing him off, bringing my one NG off of weapons. And I uh, started bringing him off of. Uh, I've just run him over to the pilot from the pilot seat to the weapons to charge it up faster. Um, uh, by the fact of not doing that, you probably could tell that that didn't work out too well. It's a, it's a sound theory, like because you you can have pilot auto evasion, but I found that it didn't make a substantial difference. Honestly, it just it's just much better just to have the max evade you can possibly have. I say as I don't have enough en engine. I can put another point in though. Uh, take it out of the med bay. This is what I usually do. So basically I have two points in engines, which is, it brings my evade up slightly, I think. Okay, so there's a, we're in the middle of a plasma storm. Uh, we can search the wreckage for survivors and equipment. I think there's a chance I might lose someone and guess, guess what? I'm a single person ship, but let's try it. Okay, so we didn't, we, Got a bit damaged, but that's okay. Let's get the hell out of here. That's okay. Oh, look, it's a man craft. Powering up everything. So I get 50% evade now. So uh, I will get the bonuses to piloting. Um, of course, no one else can pilot except for me. Uh oh, oh, frick. Should have done that way faster. And also, you know, the problem is when the drone bay goes down. Uh, I have to- I have to run and, and heal it, like, immediately. I'm just gonna, like, fire everything at this thing. There you go, now I can't evade me anymore. Probably one of the first things I should have fired at. Luckily, the drone bay can, like, self-heal, and also, uh, something important to note about the drone mechanics is- Actually, we haven't done a whole lot of drone, uh, drone chips, uh, so we got our scrap out of that. Uh, let's see. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. Okay, I'm gonna go just like around the top there. Um, basically, the drones themselves actually heal when they're in the bay there. Yeah, sure, why not? It's four missiles. If if I find a missile weapon, uh, I'll tr like I might as well trade these missiles. Ooh, well here's the thing: if I attack a, a slaver, he's gonna offer me a crew member, most likely, and I have got to decline. Even as crazy as that is, and I have to hope to. God, that it's he's not gonna attack my weapons. All right, uh, let's attack his, his weapons, and then now his drone. Luckily, my evade will come back up. I don't think I have any like ng bot dispersal thing, and he fired it like twice. Luckily, I disabled it, all, everything he has. Oh come on, don't set this on fire. There we go. We're in a bad state, but he's in a worse one, so. Surrender is not an option, my friend. What the hell? The drone just, like, spazzed out. Luckily, drones don't actually need healing. 
it, that's kind of a nice thing about drones. All right, we'll take your O2 out just for, uh, uh, so yeah, the drones, sorry, I was, I was talking about the drones. Um, so we got some resources out of that. Uh, so basically these drones, um, they will automatically heal when they're in the drone bay here. This one in particular doesn't have very high health. Uh, the anti-personnel one will have like a good amount of health, but that's going to be the only uh, option we have to defend our ship when it comes down to it. So this could be go horribly bad, but we'll actually go see. Uh, so there's no life signs on the planet. It was an abandoned mining outpost. Oh no, our engines got slightly damaged. And so Pirate has advanced hacking tools on my engines and we barely me managed to keep them alive. Not like I had very much evade anyways. This is like the lowest evade out of any like ship I've actually done. Like ever. Alright. We'll attack your thing here just so that bomb doesn't go off. It's like the most threatening thing on his ship. When will these mantises learn? Oh wait, his thing went... Okay. Apparently I started a fire there. Yeah, the heavy laser is a nice weapon. Two damage. Not too bad. And the and the 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 ion is too is is too damage as well. Both of them are too damage. But I have to find something better, because this is not gonna last me very long. So we're gonna get the hell out of here. This is like the loner ship, honestly. Alright, well let's go buy six fuel for twelve scrap because this is the best deal. And now I have a ton of scrap. Um, the next thing I probably want to get is this. Another block of shields. Eh, might as well. I have I have some spare resources. Uh, I'll, I'll 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 use it uh, when I determine what I want to actually use it on. Okay, we're gonna go to NG controlled space because that sounds safer. I don't have. Unfortunately, I do want to get um, a drone to help defend my ship, uh, and I cannot get that at the moment. So deal with it okay so uh th th we're in engine space it's tough times for these life forms and all that i might as well put the system repair drone in that holy shit i'm surrounded by distress beacons okay one at a time fellas uh well there's a distress there's a pirate ship crushed between two law Ooh, well let's destroy the ship and loot it let's actually see what happens because he he's Ill illegally mining the belt without proper equipment oh what? I thought he was like trapped between two asteroids. Oh, whatever. That makes me sad. I don't know how he got free. Alright, let's see who's got. You got one laser and one thing here, so you know what we can do? We can do this. Now we have two layers of shields. You can't beat these layers. Oh, or maybe you can. Oh well. Divert power from O2 to system repair. Repairing is more important right now. All right, we'll, we'll get that. Oh, why is it always setting fires? Uh, at this point, I don't really care anymore what he's trying to give me. I have like lots of, I have 22 missiles that I'm only out of the first system. Holy bejesus. All right, I don't know really why I targeted that, but I felt like it. All right, well, let's go power O2 up again, just cause, um, I, you know, it may not look like a guy's, but I require oxygen to breathe. And so I got plenty more scrap out of that, opposed to what he was offering me before. Um, we're gonna go up here and then... As much as I'd like to go see what that Distress Beacon has, uh, not gonna be doable. I'm trying to save up a bit of money. Oh, good. It's a... It's another, another victim for the slaughter. Yeah, that this that getting another weapon will be very very helpful. Fortunately enough, uh, they didn't actually do anything useful, so I'm pretty happy with the way that went down. All right, next we'll target his cockpit so he can't dodge anything I'm doing anymore. And I I just kind of switch between targets. Uh, you know how I work with with any kind of ship. Uh, I like to take down as many subsystems as possible, mostly because uh, then they have to go and scuttle around and repair everything. Uh, so it's it's useful for me to have. So we got a, a substantial collection of uh, useful materials. So that's it. Uh, let's go to the store and cross our fingers that this guy's gonna be selling us some damn drones. No, he's not. We got a small bomb here, which is useful. Uh, we could definitely use that, but I unfortunately. Uh, I don't really see the point. 
because you know it's a little bit early to be saying that we need that so we'll just keep keep going on I could probably have bought uh, like another PowerPoint okay so there's a Zoltan uh, facility here they're uh, they're researching genetic distortion distortion due to stasis sleep so okay sure I'll participate in it and so they did their thing and then they said please give us some cakes and scrap hope they were uh, delicious cakes I, I need all the cakes okay uh, we got another point back into engines I'm, I don't have to keep the system repair drone powered all the time and here we go we have ourselves a rock ship and uh, while well, he's a pirate is completely oblivious of the sun so he's got a lot of weapons on him I'm, I'm only a little bit concerned but for the moment uh, and then I might things are gonna go back up there we go so uh, I can just power up the system repair drone so one of the things that's really cool I can do on this ship is uh, this I don't I don't want to be doing this all the time but I can do it some of the time and this guy's gonna just power up his FDL apparently oh for the love of God don't what well, why are you not putting out fire okay good you didn't need to now I'm, I'm, the problem is if, if I if I get hit like in in anywhere where uh, oh well, I'll kill him 20. Yeah, see, but the fire will not stay there, so we're okay. But the thing problem is, like, if the drone bay gets hit and I have to bring them all the way over here, well, there's there's no freaking oxygen there. And so I'm pretty much fucked if, if that is the case, so that's why I don't keep it on par Like, 7% oxygen is not a good number. Oh, look, I got a halberd beam. Nice. That's a, that's a neat weapon. Oh, let's go and do this. All right, we're gonna wait for the oxygen to come back up a little bit. So, two damage per room with a small breach chance. Uh, I don't think I really want to be doing uh, a halberd beam run at all. So, um, like, because my main problem now is I have to lower shields, and if I can't lower shields, then this ship is useless to me. All right, well, uh, it's an NG trader. Oh, look, I can get crew members, which I will not be getting. Oh, let's let's do crew teleport. Let's make this into a boarding ship. A boarding NG ship, how, how well would that work? Alright, you can get sensors and stuff, but obviously, for obvious reasons, I wouldn't be doing that. Honestly, I don't feel that's necessary. I really don't. So, there's uh, an NG that asks me, uh, are tra transfer of goods acceptable? I'll explain that I'm friendly. And then he'll, uh, he'll give me some gear. Thanks for that, buddy. He's a nice guy. He's NGs. Okay, so there's a assistance requested, danger imminent. So let's go. To, oh wait, f foolish meat sacks. I'm an NG. There's no one. There's no one with flesh on this ship. All right. Well, they're gonna. Oh, uh, we have we have boarders on our station now. So what we do? Anti personnel drone. You haven't seen me use it yet, but uh, now you'll get to see it in action. My O2 is getting kind of low. I'm debating what to draw power from. The anti personnel drone should have this guy out in the bag. I, I think I, I think I'll be okay. Uh, did I just fire my? Yes, I did. Okay. I'm gonna wait a second. Oh, they managed to. What? He hit it. Okay. Uh, and now I I, I, I have to power the, the this drone. Luckily, I have enough. I have enough things for this. Why did that fire again? It might. I just realized why I did. I had that on auto fire. That was me being a dumb. Sorry, my mistake. Okay, well, we'll let the we'll get let the drone thing go back to the to where it needs to go. And target his weapons. I, I took way more damage there than I should have. That was my mistake. I, I deeply apologize, guys. Okay, now we can't evade anymore. So you notice how that drone is now getting healed. So we now have to uh, power up this guy. And go, let's go attack his weapons again. And there you go. We 
that that guy's gonna handle the engines. We don't have to worry too much. So that's the thing with the anti-personnel drone. Not not too shabby. Little tech is is uh, bay there. Why, I don't know why they call me foolish meat sacks. I, I'm I'm clearly I'm I'm a bro. I'm one of their guys. Uh, getting doors, by the way, would probably be beneficial to me, just so they can't get through these doors that easily. Uh, just because my that NG obviously needs protection. So, okay, we got a substantial amount of materials. Let's go and power up our med bay. Yeah, we need at least one point in, in the med bay, uh, the drone bay, for it to heal. I wonder if uh, if I put more points in it, do they heal faster? It would appear so, but uh, I, don't, I, don't, I only need one. Okay. Uh, any stores nearby? Nope. Okay, let's get another power bar. They're delicious power bars. And... Oh, my bad. I almost dropped something on my table. <laughs> uh, so we got a Hermes missile out of this, and so... Yeah, uh, uh, Underground Federation com channels are talking about your secret mission. So, this thing... Uh, I'm not too much, I'm not too sold on missile weapons, however, I will keep it here. Just in case these two fail, like they have, there's like a, a really... Cause this, it's a very powerful missile, but if, the thing is, it's not very useful late game because of anti-missile drone things. So, it's better than the Halberd Beam, at least. It's it's worth keeping around for the time being, you know? That's my opinion on that, anyways. Okay, there's a forward scout of the Rebel Fleet. And he's gonna power up his FTL. Alright, well, to deal with whoever's on our ship right now... Alright, who... They are attacking my doors. Wow, that's a fantastic place for you to beam into. Like the the boarding drone will actually handle a whole lot of a whole mess of things. Okay, don't don't worry, don't concern yourself too much with that right now. Okay, then we took down their weapons. Let's power up O2 and the system repair drone. Even though I actually I don't think they would have been capable of handling that anyways. All right, we're gonna power down the anti-personnel drone, power up shields, and target their cockpit, just so we delay their FTL a little bit longer. Oh. Okay, thank goodness I hit that. So, I'm just trying to keep their engines and their weapons down. And this will prevent them from charging their FTL and firing back at me. Because I, I honestly, I, I don't like missiles at the moment. I don't have any kind of defensive option. And so I think this is honestly the best setup, is you don't have to put any points into repair drones or anything. You just have to kind of play a little bit on the smart side. Oh, shit. No. Oh. It hit me right in the feels. Oh, well, I have so much resources. Holy shit. Good job, me. I am my own favorite player. All right, well, fortunately we're gonna be attacking the uh, uh, rebel ship here. Yeah, we get our first taste of uh, double shields. And I still don't have adequate weapons for dealing with two shields, so. Guess I'm just gonna wait for FTL to charge. Get some practice in for recharging shields. What am I at? I'm almost, I'm almost at full evasion. What the hell I should be charging right now? Look at that. Oh, I'm becoming a pro. Come on. One more evade. I mean, there's not much else I could do here. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. 17% evade. I, I simply I can't bring it down fast enough. If you had a guy on engines and maybe weapon reloader, then yeah, that would work. But oh, I have weapon reloader. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't even know why I'm firing at him. It's really kind of pointless, isn't it? Alright, let's jump to the next sector. Uh, let's do an NG controlled sector because we'll have the option of going to several places. Okay, we are now in NG space and that is the end of this part. And we will see 
uh, how far I get uh, in the next uh, episode. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.